Orange zone restrictions taking effect tomorrow. People all over Western New York are rushing now to get to the hair salon or a restaurant before they are forced to temporarily shut down tomorrow. Here's to your side's Danielle Church. Governor Cuomo made the announcement about parts of Western New York becoming part of an orange zone on Wednesday. A salon owner I spoke to says the rush is so crazy that before he could even finish that press conference, her phone has been ringing off the hook. It rang right up until 11 o'clock um, and then it started again at 630 this morning. Jennifer Giambra and her husband Michael own Michael the Salon in Williamsville. The salon has extended its hours from 8.30 a.m. through 11 or 11.30. Jennifer says the salon has not had a single case of COVID-19, which is why she only expected a few more restrictions from the governor at the most. He's really been doing well and thinking that everything has been going well. It's really been a shock. There's also a rush over at restaurants like the Grill at the Dome over in Tonawanda. Owner Josh at home says they will completely close for the time being. We're more of a destination place than we are a uh, takeout place. The amount of work we would have to do to break even just it wouldn't make sense. We dig our whole deeper. So we're just going to kind of hold on for dear life and, and uh, go from there. That means customers like Fred and Lori will have to wait to return. They've been regulars for more than 15 years. And because Lori has dementia, Ed Holmes says the couple comes in all the time because it's where Lori feels the most comfortable. We have a very warm group. Uh, my staff helps people feel that way. and they, they are part of my family, so closing the doors for me is not a very easy decision. Jennifer says though she doesn't want anyone to get sick, the state needs to figure out how to help small businesses instead of shutting them down. We have to find that balance because we don't want to see our successful thriving businesses disappear. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.